वेलकम टू इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ क्वालिटी एंड रिलायबिलिटी हाय दिस इज हेमन द क्रो एमसा रिलायबिलिटी ग्रोथ मॉडल वी रिकमेंड व्यूअर्स टू वॉच अवर प्रीवियस वीडियो ऑन रिलायबिलिटी ग्रोथ कंसेप्ट स्ट्रैटेजी ड्यून मॉडल एंड एप्लीकेशन के स्टडी लिंक इज प्रोवाइडेड इन द वीडियो डिस्क्रिप्शन द यूएस आर्मी मटेरियल सिस्टम एनालिसिस एक्टिविटी और एम्सा मॉडल वॉज डेवलप बाई क्रो इन नाइनटीन एटी फोर दिस मॉडल इज यूज टू ट्रैक रिलायबिलिटी विद इन सीरीज ऑफ ग्रोथ टेस्टिंग साइकिल्स AMSA model is usually applied to a single test phase while as the Dewan model is applied across test phases Suppose S1 S2 are test times at which design changes are made In AMSA model failure rate within each stage is assumed to be constant but differs between stages So let us say that the failure rate is lambda 1 for stage 1 then it reduces to lambda 2 because of our improvement actions then for stage 3 it reduces to lambda 3 and so on so it reduces to lambda 6 for stage 6 now although the reduction has been in steps we can approximate this reduction in failure rate by a continuous curve which is shown in blue color for example if there are three phases in a project and some model can be applied within a particular phase like this let us see and some model mathematical functions the amsa model is a non homogeneous poison process nhpp for modeling reliability growth NHPP was discussed in one of our previous videos. NHPP uses power law as follows. Cumulative number of failures capital M of T is equal to A into T raised to B where A and B are constants and T is the accumulated test time. Note that B must be less than 1 for positive reliability growth. Taking logarithms ln of m of t will be equal to ln of a plus b ln t continuing with the amsa model mathematical functions cumulative failure function m of t is equal to a into t raised to b the instantaneous failure intensity function rho of t can be estimated by differentiating with respect to t the above function So rho of t is equal to d m of t upon d t that is equal to a b t raised to b minus one. Instantaneous MTBF is given by reciprocal of the intensity function. That is theta i is equal to one upon rho of t that is equal to one upon a b into t raised to b minus one. As we have seen before, m of t is equal to a into t raised to b for power law, and ln of m of t will be equal to ln a plus b ln t now the constants a and b are estimated from the data using maximum likelihood estimate or mle method formally to estimate these constants are shown below for type 1 that is time terminated test these are the formula for b and a now note in a time terminated test the test is conducted until a target test time is achieved here are the formula for type 2 test to calculate a and b this is the formula for b and the other one is formula for a in a failure terminated test test is conducted until a target number of failures occur now let us see an application example of amsa model two gel sets were tested concurrently with type 1 that is time terminated test till time t is equal to 500 hours times of failures are given in the following table now we will illustrate this example on microsoft excel 
we will now illustrate the example of AMSA growth model for the data which was shown earlier. That data is entered in Microsoft Excel in these columns. The first column shows hours of Genset 1. The second column shows whether there was a failure of Genset 1. The third column shows hours of Genset 2. And the fourth column shows whether it, the Genset 2 was failed or not. Now there are additional columns for calculation and we will start doing the calculations. First we will take the cumulative time Ti of the failures. So we'll take equal to time of genset 1 plus time of genset 2 and that is equal to 5.6 for first row and we'll copy this and obviously the total time is equal to 500 but the last one is not a failure. So ln ti we will take for the failures equal to ln of 5.6 and I copy this and we take the total of these numbers and that equals 45.893. Now the formula for calculation of constants B and A are shown here and we will use this formula and in this enter the information in this table which is required to calculate. Total number of failures is 10. Total cumulative time is 500. Summation of LNTI is equal to 45.893. So B can be calculated as N that is 10 divided by into bracket. N LN total time that is 10 star LN of 500 minus summation of failure times, logarithms of failure times and that should be equal to 0.615. Similarly, A if we want to calculate, we will say equal to N upon T raised to B. So N is 10 divided by 500 raised to the power the value that we have calculated for B and that equals 0.218. The failure intensity function at t is equal to 500 will be given by a b t raised to b minus 1 and that is equal to a star b star total time that is equal to 500 raised to the power b minus 1 and that is equal to 0 0.012 and instantaneous mtbf will be reciprocal of this value so 1 upon failure intensity function rho and that is equal to 81.27 we can also calculate the failure intensity at every uh, failure and we can see how this intensity changing uh, how the failure rate is changing so let us calculate the failure intensity function at each point in time and that is equal to a b t raised to b minus 1. So we will say equal to a is 0.218 star b is 0.615 star total time at that point that is 5.6 for this point raised to the power b minus 1 is 0.615 minus 1. 0.615 minus 1 so this will be a negative number I mean the power will be a negative number so this is the failure intensity I copy this formula and if we now plot a graph of cumulative time versus failure rate intensity we can see the graph as we'll say insert recommended charts and the failure intensity function is seen here. So we can see how the failure intensity is dropping down as time is increasing. That is the reliability growth. Let us do a quick recap. 
The AMSA model was developed by Crow in 1984. This model is used to track reliability within series of growth testing cycles. AMSA model is applied to single test phase while as Duan model is applicable across test phases. AMSA model uses power law model wherein M of T the number of failures equals A into T raised to B and the failure intensity function rho of T equals derivative of the above function and that is equal to E B T raised to B minus 1. We have also illustrated the model with an application example. 